So in case anyone's wondering uh, if cockroaches can still function without their head, uh, here's a pretty good example. This is a, a lobster cockroach, and it has no head. See, it's completely missing. Uh, I was feeding this off, and its head got removed. And it is still running around. Like it still has one of them in there. Obviously it's missing uh, some sensory organs, so it doesn't really know what it's doing, because it doesn't have a brain anymore. It has the... not that they really have a brain anyway, they have neuroganglia. But uh, at this point it's a body that is still functioning, but it's uh, moving on stimulus. So it's not going to do anything really until it's bumped or some kind of stimulus is put against it. Let's see if I can blow on it, if that'll move it. It does react to the air. It's kind of a macabre thing to see, I guess. Uh, this is essentially, you know, it has no brain activity, so it's really a dead animal. But it's still functional. This might seem kind of cruel, but keep in mind this was going to be eaten alive by a black widow spider. Um, I usually crush their head uh, before I put them in the tank. This one, uh, it's when I crush its head, it actually popped it right off with the tweezers. So the uh, the body dropped, and it just was walking around. So I'm like, well, that's interesting. Let's take a video of that. And it's been like this for about 15 minutes now. And they can live for a while, as long as they don't dehydrate, um, the body will still continue to move. So. Like I said, it doesn't, the neuroganglia that are in its body um, are what controls its, everything it does. There's one in the head, and there's one in the abdomen, uh, kind of near the butt. And those ganglia are what controls this body right now. So, does it know what's going on? No. When it had its head on, did it know what was going on? It, not, not really. They don't have higher cognition. They're an insect. So. Just thought that was interesting. So I'm going to feed this, uh, you know, zombie, essentially, <laughs> uh, off to something real quick. And uh, yeah, so just thought I'd show you guys what's going on. Uh, like I said, this is not to be cruel to animals or anything like that. The head gets crushed before I feed them off. Um, I don't usually feed fully living uh, you know, feeder roaches to my stuff. So, even though this seems cruel, it doesn't have its main sensory organ, which is its head, with its, uh, you know, the neuroganglia in its head. So, it doesn't have, you know, anything going on other than that mass of nerve cells in the back that are controlling its body at this point. And like I said, it'll still react to me poking it and stuff like that, but. And all, all technicalities, it's dead. And it's still moving. Like I said, it'll move for a while still, too. You know, I've had headless roaches wandering around for hours. Um, I hear that they can live for even longer than that, but usually they dry out. Uh, the hole there, where the head used to be, um, you know, that is leaking the hemolymph. They're uh, equivalent to blood. See that clear fluid there, and that is uh, that is eventually going to desiccate the body, and uh, it'll eventually stop moving because of that. So, anyway, just wanted to show you guys. See ya.